I believed in humanity and trusting people and empowering people, especially the youth. Inspiration from a Ugandan businessman and entrepreneur who rose from humble beginnings. Patrick Bichachore is sharing his experience of building the conglomerate Simba Group. He says investors need to seize the opportunity to invest in Africa. You don't think Africa is only about poverty. There is so much opportunity. The numbers are growing, the population is growing, the middle income group is growing. Those attending this conference took part in panel discussions on topics including finance, healthcare and consumer products. Panelists said the US needs to step up its interests in Africa to keep pace with China. It's uh, great to see so many people here. The dean of the Stanford Business School is from South Africa. He's worked to bring a more international dimension to classes here and established an initiative to combat poverty through entrepreneurship. The students who have a global mindset uh, are going to be the ones who earliest take their businesses global uh, and, and that's how they're going to grow. Exchanging ideas, broadening perspectives and making contacts are all vital preparation for any successful venture. But business leaders say the key is getting governments to create a nurturing economic environment. Rwanda's already made huge strides forward improving infrastructure and access to capital. It now ranks within the world's top 10 countries for starting a business. If a country like Rwanda can rise from the, you know, the, the, most, the bottom part of the pit and come up and rise to be what we have and to be the top four in many indicators on the African continent, how much more can countries that did not have to go through the history that we did do? I think they can do so much better. The forum ended with African-focused U.S. companies setting up booths on the lawn, examples of cross-continental collaboration. Organisers hope this event will help put Africa on the map for Silicon Valley and inspire students, no matter what their background, to become business leaders on the African continent. Rebecca Bowring, CCTV, Stanford, California.